everybody. It's fan time. So, uh, I want to talk about the messy middle today. You ever experience the messy middle when you're discipling other people? You know, there's milk and there's meat. And then you have the messy middle in between. And that's almost with every discipleship relationship that you have. So I've got a friend. He just picked up a brand new disciple. Just been working with him for a couple of weeks. He actually started another group on his own through the coaching of this disciple maker within one week. You know, so here's the guy. He just starts discipling the guy, and the very next week, he starts discipling two other guys. And this week, he found out that the guy is in an adulterous relationship. The messy middle. So what do you do with a guy like that? Do you tell him, quit reading the Bible with your friends. Don't share the gospel. Um, you know, stop everything you're doing and get this straight first. Well, no. I do think you confront the adultery. You cannot let that go. But in the meantime, what you're going to do is you're going to disciple him out of it. You know, a lot of times we're we're so fixated on the process that we have in our mind that we don't address the real needs of life. And this guy obviously has a real need to purify his life and get out of the adulterous relationship. And thankfully, this, the disciple maker recognized this and exhorted and rebuked gently this guy on the adultery and basically told him this is wrong you need to stop it but he's going to keep discipling this guy through the messy middle and you know he encouraged the guy to keep meeting with his buddies and keep reading the bible in a lot of ways that's this guy's only hope that he stays in the Word and stays in fellowship and we can disciple him out of this uh, sinful, immoral lifestyle. So, keep discipling people through the messy middle. I hope this is helpful. If it is, multiply our ministry by passing it on. And if you have questions or comments, put them down below. If you like our videos, subscribe. And until next time, keep making disciples of Jesus and advancing his kingdom.